second one, we're going to find the inverse of this particular rational function. This is basically number 6, so hopefully you watch the others, and I'm going to go a little faster now. So to find the inverse, uh, we're going to let that be y, and we're going to interchange the x and the y's. So I'm going to let x equal 3y plus 1 over negative y. That's your inverse. Now, we're going to solve for y by distributing it negative uh, xy equals 3y plus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and um, move the 3y over. and factor out a negative y. I'm going to factor out a negative y. I'm going to get x plus 3 equals 1. Divide both sides by oops, x plus 3. And then I'm going to just negate you know, multiply through by negative 1 to solve for positive y. So you get y equals negative 1 over x plus 3. Now let's go ahead and state the domain and range. The dom do this part. The domain of f equals the range of f inverse. So the domain of f is all real numbers, but x cannot be 0. Therefore, the range is y, such that y cannot be 0, all real numbers. And also, the range of f equals the domain of f inverse. So I look here. Domain of f inverse is all real numbers, but x cannot be negative 3. So that's the range of f, but you just put the y. All real numbers, but y cannot be negative 3. All right, now we have to verify this. So what we do is we're going to verify f with f inverse of x. That means I have f, and my f inverse happens to be x um, negative 1 over x plus 3. Okay, so now I'm going to write my outer function, which is f as 3, it's negative 1 over x plus 3, plus 1 over negative, negative 1 over x plus 3. In this case, the negatives will just cancel. I'm just going to take them out. Two negatives make a positive. All right. Now, we're going to um, clear the fractions. So, then x plus 3 times x plus 3. This is negative 3 plus 1 times x plus 3. Like I said, I'm going a little faster on this one. You just distribute there, and this would cancel. And then um, the denominator, this just cancels. So we're just this over 1. So you get negative 3 plus x plus 3 over 1. So these cancel, and we're left with x. And now we have to go the other way. We have f inverse composed with f of x. So that's f inverse, and my x is 3x over, oh, 3x plus 1 over negative x. So f inverse happens to be 1 over negative 3x plus 1 over negative x minus 3. Now, these two negatives right here are going to cancel, so I'm going to erase these. Two negatives make a positive. Now, all I'm going to do is 
multiply my numerator and my denominator by x to clear the fraction in the denominator. So we get x in the numerator. In the denominator, uh, these two, this will cancel with this x, so you get 3x plus 1, and distribute there, and you get minus 3x. So this cancels out, so zeroes out, and you get x over 1, which just equals x. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.